Once your ML model has been trained and is ready to make predictions, you'll need to be able to serve it. Kubeflow Serving, or KF Serving, is a powerful open source tool you can use to serve your models with the scale and performance of Kubernetes. Let's look at how KF Serving gives you an easy to use interface so you can serve models in production. To see the documentation on KF Serving, check out the link below. Kubernetes brings powerful features to training and serving your ML models, but it can be tricky to handle the configuration of servers, auto-scaling, networking, and health checks of Kubernetes clusters to run your models in production. KF Serving aims to hide this complexity to bring you a simple, pluggable, and complete story for production ML serving. This includes everything from prediction to pre-processing, post-processing, and explainability. It gives you standard interfaces for common ML frameworks like TensorFlow, XGBoost, Scikit-Learn, and PyTorch, giving you a consistent experience for models of all kinds. Its interface is a YAML file typically checked into a Git repository. Simply point your specification, or spec, to a serialized model file in cloud storage, and you get a live model at an HTTP endpoint. On top of that, KF Serving lets you leverage cutting edge production serving features like using GPUs, auto scaling, scaling to zero, and canary rollouts to your ML deployments. KF Serving is installed by default as part of a Kubeflow installation, but you can also install it as a standalone using a quick script. Check out the link below to learn how. Behind the scenes, KF Serving is built using the extensibility of Kubernetes and the layers that sit on top of it. Istio is a service mesh layer that takes care of the load balancing, security, and monitoring of the microservices that make up a Kubernetes cluster. It enables KF Serving to handle traffic routing and ingress to your deployed model. Knative is a layer that lets you deploy and manage serverless workloads on Kubernetes. It enables KF Serving to handle networking and canary rollouts so you can safely make changes to your endpoint without dropping any traffic. And it even enables you to auto-scale GPUs and TPUs. For ML scientists, this means adding something to the KF Serving resource is as simple as using the KF Serving interface that's provided for his class. For example, when you want to tweak min max replicas or perform a canary test. For ML ops engineers, this means applying policies under the hood becomes much more manageable with the layered Kubernetes architecture, like when you want to apply security policies, failure recovery metrics, and monitoring. Let's walk through an example interface. While you can create a short YAML file to quickly serve your model and get an endpoint, there are many ways you can customize things like authentication and canary rollouts. Here, the min and max specs are a way to control your provisioning of backend pods to make sure that you don't drop requests, and you can meet demand without overspending. Behind the scenes, Knative handles routing and queuing of traffic. You can also specify resource requests like selecting GPUs. And thanks to Knative's concurrency-based autoscaler, you can effectively scale CPUs or GPUs. By default, KF Serving sets target concurrency to one, so if you load the service with five concurrent requests, the autoscaler will scale up to five pods and back down to one when requests die down. For most ML scientists, one of the biggest challenges is how to deploy models in production using canary rollouts. You want to be able to easily test and update your data models to production without impacting users. While traffic splitting to backends is a challenge, KF Serving lets you slowly increment traffic from an old model to an experimental model. In this example, we're rolling out a new version of an Iris model. As we slowly increment traffic percentage to our V2 model, we can be confident the canary isn't going to disrupt our users. Eventually, we'll move 100% of traffic to our V2 model, then delete the original deployment, allowing you to completely manage the lifecycle of data models in production. When it comes to processing data, ML frameworks don't give you a place to execute code that process requests. KF Serving includes hooks, so you can provide your own container implementations to do pre and post processing. You just need to add the hook in your KF Serving interface, specify a container image spec for your processing handler, and KF Serving automatically wires it up. The hook called a transformer can help you process requests, like if you want to translate a user ID into a set of new features about the user. These new features can then be fed into another hook called an explainer that can perturb the features and send prediction requests to them. Perturbing features to see its effect on a model's output is one way of explaining or shedding light on your models. Finally, the predictor can do predictions on those requests, post-process them in the transformer, and send the transform requests back to you. Together, these hooks give you a simple way to serve an end-to-end -end ML model with explainability at your fingertips. 
KF Serving gives you out of the box standardized model serving across frameworks. It's built for production inferencing with features like canarying, auto scaling, explainability, and a clean interface, making it easy for you to review models and change config on the fly.